Hey, what's up? My name is Nelson, and today I am talking about X. In 1979, a group of young filmmakers set out to make an adult film in a secluded farmhouse in a royal Texas. Their reclusive elderly host take a special interest in their young guests. And as night falls in, the couple's leering interest takes a violent turn. Well, that is pretty much all I'm going to say. This is a spoiler-free review. First off, I gotta say, still don't have my voice back from when I was sick. I really messed up my vocal cords or something, so I'm not gonna be talking that great throughout this, but I really, really wanted to talk about this film because cause it was a different one. And uh, first off, the cast was super, super amazing. I, I wanna name off everybody. First off, you got uh, Jenna Ortega, Mia Goth, Brittany Stone, Kid Cudi, Martin Henderson, Owen Campbell, and Stephen Err. This cast was super, super amazing. You really immediately love all of these characters. But this film, I gotta say, you really, really can't take your kids to go see this. I know there's a lot of people out there who like to take their kids to go see these horror films. This is really, really not one of them you want to take your kids to because they are making a dirty film and... It gets explicit. There is a lot of sex in this, a lot of drug use, and very, very bloody. But um, this storyline is really, really good. I mean, it's very unique in its way. I've never seen a film like this, but at the same time, I've seen many films like this. The film is shot super, super beautifully. I mean, we're out in, like the countryside of Texas and you just see all these like nice shots and of the the hay the hay the or of of the fields and the even like the the house and the barn and all that just everything's very beautifully shot plus while they're making the film they do have um a they, they in it shows the camera and how like it's shot smaller, like in the seventies, because this, you know, the movie is based in nineteen seventy nine. So, I thought that was really, really cool, and how it kind of just looked really old and stuff. I do wish they would have used it a little bit more because they would go to it and then immediately go away from it. But it, this movie was just so beautiful looking, and it's a twenty four. Usually, all of their movies are very, very beautiful looking, and there is a scene. Uh, I don't want to get into it with spoilers. There is a scene with an alligator. A couple scenes with an alligator. And that super worked for me with the suspense. And the suspense in this film is crazy good. Like, I was just on the edge of my seat like 90% of this movie. There is also this scene in the film where um, Kid Cudi in the movie picks up a, uh, a guitar... And uh, Bobby Lynn sings, played by uh, Brittany Snow. And it is just such a beautiful scene. Um, it's, 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 it's weird because, like, there's just, there was so much sex in this from that point in the film. And I was just like, they start, she started singing and I was like, how, how are they transitioning to this and how is it working? Because I, I don't know. And I'm just like, how did that work? But it really really worked. It actually almost kind of brought a tear to my eye just watching that scene. It's one of my favorite scenes of the entire movie. But when the killing starts happening, it's crazy. It's just it's just, the first kill is just nuts. And they use a lot of practical effects and it's awesome. Like like I love the use of the practical effects. It look this looks so real. Like like, I, I was like, whoa, that looks a little too real at times with some of these kills, and they were really, really, really great. Some of the best kills I've seen in a long, long time. But what I do have to talk about, too, is in the first the first kill, it's by a uh, the, the van, a, a van. And the person gets killed by a van, and the blood squirts onto the van lights. And it brings up a red light. 
And that was a huge callback to the Evil Dead. And I love Evil Dead. But so that was like, I was like, oh, shit, Evil Dead. And uh, then it start, the movie starts showing all of these callbacks to different 80s, 70s and 80s films. Like, we get a callback to The Shining. Lots of callbacks to Friday the 13th. And obviously callbacks to, to Evil Dead. And really, really well done. This film, what is special about this film is the fact that we don't get much films like this that work. It was trying to be that 80s slasher movie, 70s, 80s slasher movie, but it didn't feel like it was trying to be. Whenever we get movies like this, you can just tell that they're really, really, really trying to capture what they captured with you know, Halloween and Friday the 13th and all those old slasher movies. And a lot of times you can just, you can just feel that they're really, really trying, which there's nothing wrong with that. But this just felt so natural. Like there is one scene where they kind of just use the camera as the killer. Like they do in all the Friday the 13th movies. And I love that. It was only one scene and it was only like maybe two or three minutes, but it was really awesome to see that. And me being a huge horror fan, I was like, it's so cool, these callbacks. Like, I just, I really, really loved it. And, like I said a little bit, they add a little bit, a couple different subgenres to this, too, it seems like, throughout. Like I said earlier, with the alligator, we get a little bit of creature feature throughout. And I like that mix in the film. It, it really... They really did a really good job with that. I mean, you could you could try that and fail very easily, and this film did not falter at that. Again, I want to talk a little bit more about the uh, the characters in the movie. These actors were all really, really good, and uh, Jenna Ortega, I'm really liking everything she's been doing lately. She's becoming one of my favorite actresses uh, as of late with a few of her films. She was in Scream, she was in The Fallout, and now X, and... She's been kind of killing it this year, and pretty much everything I've seen her in, I've really, really loved. Brittany Snow was really, really good in this, too. Like, I've seen her in a lot of sh a lot of stuff when I was a kid and all that, but uh, she really, really killed it in this, and um, I was really impressed. But, really, Kid Cudi killed it. Like, I was like, wow, like, I, I knew, I was really, I thought it was really cool that Kid Cudi was in this film, but... Dang, like, I didn't think he had the acting chops. Like, I remember seeing him in, like, Need for Speed, like, years ago, but... And he was good in that, but, man, he can really, really act, and he, he killed it. But the biggest standout in this is definitely Mia Goth. She was amazing. She played two characters. She played the old lady, and she played Maxine. And that's gotta be hard to do. And she did so well on each with each character and just such different characters and they both it was so crazy how they both had like a dynamic with each other and but um yeah she I, I that had to have been super hard to do especially with the characters both having like conflict with each other and she did so so well it kind of her performance kind of blew me away but I also want to talk about uh there was a the TV playing throughout and it was a preacher talking and saying how you know, it's the end time. Is the end time is coming, and and you know all all that stuff, and we're all living in sin, and it, that really freaked me out throughout. I mean, all this different stuffs happening, and we're just hearing this TV over and over again. And there is this huge, huge twist at the end of the movie, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into it because I don't want to spoil anything. But it really, I was like, whoa, when it happened, so. This film was very, very well done. If I had to complain a little bit, it with with I don't mind sex in movies, but with the beginning of this movie, I mean, it's like this movie's an hour and forty four minutes long, and it's like an hour of them filming this porno and just so much sex. Like I said, I don't mind sex in films, but I was like. Is it going to end? I didn't mind the scenes because they're all, like I said, all the actors and actresses in this film are really, really good. So I didn't I didn't mind all of that, but I just wanted the horror to happen. But when it happened, I got what I wanted. So, And at some points, the film was a bit dark. 
just a bit too dark. Like, I almost couldn't see some things. But, again, that could have been my cinema I was at. It's not a big chain cinema. It's more like a mom-and-pop cinema type. But, um, for my score for this film, I'm going to give it an 83%. Definitely one I say check out in theaters. It was so good. Like, one of my favorites of the year so far. But, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Nelson Reviews. Follow me on Letterboxd at Nelson48. Peace out.